ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh, I know some of you have seen video where we did a water rescue training with the uh, Cape Girardeau Fire Department uh, today we're going to put that training to use there is a car in the water uh, do not know if anybody's in the vehicle if anybody's been injured as always we ask for prayers good thoughts well wishes for all involved here we go all right red star boat ramp is right there mississippi river is real low wow it's way down here What's up there? Howdy, howdy. The, uh, the big issue that we had is you getting over to this side of the uh, little ditch. Right. You might be able to come around. That's what I was wondering. Side. I was going to see what's up there. Yeah. Let's let me take a look at the scene if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. Is there yeah. nobody? Nobody yeah. in the vehicle? We don't know. Don't know. Okay. Hello guys. Well, we just did this not too long ago. <laughs> well, we did it in training though. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. what have we got? Ooh, she's out there a good ways too, isn't she? Yeah. Don't that's that's access through Ameren, I believe. Be I'm trying to think of several different options here. What's the best way down? Or have you all been down? I have not. I just got here. So that's going to be able to pull you in what the plan is. I'm going to have to go down and see. What's up, Ron? Howdy, howdy, guys. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not an easy one to access. No, that's what I was looking at. I've got, so Amron's got a lot. Substation, right yep. Right. And I just talked to him. He said he can come down and lock the gates. Okay. The problem is, I don't know if you can get across the tracks. So we have to lay down some blocks to get you across the tracks. Well, here's what I'm thinking right now, anyway. Just at first glance. I've got a four-wheel drive pickup that can come down here with, that has winches on it. And we've also got a skid steer. We might be able to get the skid steer down here and get a line to it and get get it pulled up close enough to the bank and drag it up with the skid steer maybe I, I don't know but let me look up at the lot and see what kind of access we've got if that's okay you're not gonna stick around I'm not, man. <laughs> there's a road up over there Okay. We can pop you out. Bring you in over there, pop you out here. I just don't know about getting off the track. Yeah, we have to cross that main line, which... I can shut the train down. That's not yeah. easy, but it's getting across. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, we'd have to have access right there. Mm -hmm. Or, what's this down here? Is that... No, that's really that's the only access, the only access isn't it? Okay. Here. The other would be across that bridge, across and that's that no bridge. good. I don't know what that thing's rated. Yeah, I at. wouldn't. That's that's a walking bridge, I would think. <laughs> no, it's rated to take a vehicle across. Is it really? The pedestal comes out, but I don't know. Don't what know. It's rated at. Yeah, we don't want to risk that, do we? <sighs> yeah. The only other thing I thought was just jumping, shut the train down, jump on the tracks down there, and drive on the tracks up to this road. Okay, we can get 
shoot. We can get our pickup and a skid steer in through here and up there. We're not 100% nobody's in it. But right. The cops think it's stolen. We got a car matching that description of reported stolen. Okay. More than likely, they ever jacking around on the boat ramp and then just took it down the ramp, let it float down. Yeah, shoot. All right. It's a shame it's already settled, or we could float it up to the ramp. It'd be a lot easier. Ethan went to go get the skid steer. Gavin and I have been loading up all kind of rigging because we don't know what all we're going to need. Gavin's got his ice cleats on, so do I. This is going to be interesting and fun, ain't it? Where do you need the ox line, guys? I got two of them. What do you need? Pull it out with this. Okay. You need another? Okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. All right, make sure we stay clear of their lines, Gavin, because that's their lifeline. Are you good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's good. I just wanted to make sure you're all right. Yeah, they got the dry seats. This one might have a hole in it. Uh oh. Yo. Yeah, we got to go back up to the truck. We got to get that winch line set in the receiver hitch and run our winch line up here. Let's go ahead and get that set while they're doing the rigging. Oh, yeah. Ethan, you need to be over here, bud. All right. Watch yourself.
Ah, my goodness. Ah. Oh, there you go. And of course, the barge had to make waves for us. I guess there's nobody in it. We don't know. They went ahead and busted the window because they their wetsuits they're getting carried away. They're not wetsuits. Those dry are just suits. those are dry suits and they're just cold suits. All right, we need a. Hold on, Gavin. Yeah, I'm sure it goes like this. Well, I thought it was about to go over backwards. Oh, you got to go slow. All right, we're going to put a snatch block in there and run it back down. And then we're going to double the line from that truck over to the skid steer. So we need a snatch block. We need that end that's in your hand back down here and a snatch block all right let's get this set up up here but while they're doing the rigging down there what we're going to try to do is use the winch to at least get it up on the shoreline where the pd can do their inspection get it out of the water and then we'll that's stage one get it out of the water first Yeah. Yeah. As I came over the second set of tracks and it come back down, uh -huh. it was locked in place, but it just smacked shut on me. Okay. Help me with this, or either you hold it up. What do you want me to do? It's got to go down here in the. Uh, it's going in the receiver. It's going in the receiver. I've done that once before. All right. We're good. Oh, it's already plugged in. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it was hardware. Yep, me and Papa did that. All right, we're good there. All right, I need a snatch block in this. And we'll bring it back to the skid steer as a dead man. Structure fire on um, County Road 349 or something. Out towards the end. Oh. One story structure. right there all right this will go back over to the skid steer put this in the line and run it down and tie it into what Gavin's got do what yeah no the snatch block goes down there okay. this end goes to the skid steer okay. but for right now we can just tie it right there to hold on to it run that snatch block down and it'll meet up with Gavin. I'm gonna use the rotator's ice plates to back this truck up on to help dig in. Yeah. And then I'll, uh, I'll dig in. Yep. All right, you wanna back me up? Yep. Are you just doing anything else? Yep. Good. Yeah. Stop. A little bit more if you want to. All right, you're on the way on. All right. Is that good to you? Yep.
Now just marry those two together. Yep, there you go. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Try to get a straighter line with yours, Gavin. Do you have enough to marry those two or do we need another junction? You've almost got it. I can't give you too much without risking. That's it, that's all I feel comfortable risking. Now, roll the bucket and dig in. All right, Gavin, hand me those. That dug in enough? Yeah. Do you want it more? No, that'd be all right. I need one more of these, bud. Or, I'll tell you what, Gavin. Never mind. I'll do this differently. I thought I had another 20 footer in there, but we don't. All right. You want me to stay in or get out? Uh, I'd prefer you to be out. take up all of our line before we get the all right go straighten that out down there yep. uh, we're gonna need our comps Gavin go grab us three headsets please I know it'll take you a little bit to get down there but grab us three headsets and the batteries you good Good, Ethan. What? Whoa, we're on that big one. Gavin went to get our radios. Yeah, 
Is it moving? I'm just gonna let the ropes do their thing. Put a little bit of tension on it and then... It's working, it's coming. Okay, I might let the winch cool down a second. That's working. Yeah, it does. That's a heck of a draw. There's a lot of weight there. Normally, we use a big truck and a big winch for this. The line's all binding up on this side. Yeah. All right, getting a skid steer and back up. if it will I think it will for right now just nice and easy there you go Buck it up a little. Huh? Buck it up. There you go. Keep walking it in. Doing good. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Hold right there.
right, roll forward, let off. Forward. Well, probably, hey, I've got it anchored off right here. What I'll try to do is get enough wire rope out of here to go down to our next junction and just have you back up. Keep doing that. Right now, I'm tied off. I've got the car tied off. Yep. There you go. Come on, come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. There you go. All right, now. You hit the batteries coming. All right, I need the main. You guys get one of the remotes each. No, no, no. Leave that hooked up, bud. I know. I was trying to get it. Oh, that's okay. As long as I'm just using that to keep it uh, secured to the truck so we don't lose the progress. All right. Got everybody on comms? Yep. Gavin? Yeah. You good? Yep. All right, Ethan, take your end and hook it back into there. Wait, take my end away. Uh, this right here. Okay. And put it back into the skid steer. Now, see, we need to keep one link always tied to that vehicle until it's up on land. Nope. All right, I'm gonna tighten her up. Not yet. Let's use the winch while we can. Gavin, come over here, buddy. Just hold this out of the way. We're gonna keep this on there, but hold it, uh, keep pulling it this way on this side of the rope. There you go. Now grab the cable down there. And pull it, grab both sections of it. There you go, and pull it back towards that tree as we come up. See what that does, Gavin? That gives us an extra. In case something should break, we've still got a hold of it. All right.
right, Ethan, you're gonna have to walk with the skid steer again. Once our guys all get out of the water, yes, sir. I'm gonna call Hammer and let him know you'll lock. All you gotta do is lock those gates when you leave. Yes, sir. I'll let Todd know. Once you guys get out of the water, we'll let you guys have it. We'll get out of here. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing we can do. Now, we'll, we'll, once it's out of the water, we're good. Well, there's still a lot to do, but we got it from there. All right, Ethan, you got comms? All right, go ahead, back up. Now, just stay about level where you're at. I hope we can get enough with this pull to get it up on the land anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa! Grab me a grab me a rim slinger and a shackle, quick, Gavin. No, the uh, clevis came undone. The shackle, it's not broken, it came undone. It's, it's close. Just bring me a regular shackle. Ah. No, they've got, they've got the suits on. They're here close, so we'll just use a, I don't know what happened to it, the, uh, the knuckle just came off. Thankfully, it's up here close enough. Here, Ethan, drive forward some, give me some slack. Okay, help me pull some slack down, please. Ah, it'll be close. Uh, yeah, it didn't break. It just came undone. Yeah. Is it close enough to shore? You feel comfortable using a uh, metal shackle now? Yeah. Okay. Do what? Yeah, I just popped that little rubber section off, I guess. All right, Gavin. Gavin, hand me that. If we can't, I don't think we can reach it from there. We're going to have to have some more slack or... Uh, can you wrap that to it? Yeah. You can wrap that to it and bring it back to me. I don't know that. Uh, we're going to have to have more, Ethan. We got to have more slack. Gavin, help pull slack, please. You can just run the winch out if you need to, Ethan. Don't worry about moving the skid steer, just run the winch out. Well, we need about four or five feet, so run winch, okay. Yeah, I got you. We're on comp, I got you on comps. Yeah, give me as much slack as you can, Gavin. Got it? Yep, I got it. All right, we're good. Stop, Ethan, stop. All right, yep, there you go. That's much better. All right, bring in some slack. Bring in some slack, Ethan. Coming in, go ahead. All right. Ready? 
Yep, come on out. Go ahead and take up slack. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Now we're not going to pop anything now. It'd be all right. That rim sling will lift a semi. Ugh. You ready? Yes, sir. Hold on, let's let the fireman get out of the way. Ugh. Gavin, I'm gonna grab our, our lines there. Ready? Oh. All right, Ethan. I got you down here. Can you see up there good enough? Okay, go ahead, you're clear. Bring it in. You got about 10 feet from the shore. Slow, let it, we're gonna have to let it drain. Let's just keep it nice, steady. Tension on the ropes. Can't believe that little half ton sitting still like that. Those skid, those skid plates help a lot. Yes, please. Just be careful of the lines. Ethan's got the bucket lifted so that we actually keep the rigging up off these sharp rocks. You got about four feet from the shore before the rear bumper hits. About two feet from the shore before the bumper gets on it. We're gonna have to take one link out, aren't we? We're starting to drag pretty hard. All right, hold on, Ethan, hold. Yeah, it, it let it, let it. Let's just let it sit there and drain for a minute because it's starting to dig in. Yep, the ropes will uh, hold it. As I'm, I'm watching the water pour out of the uh, door handle right now on the front. Okay, yeah, let's just let the ropes hold it and let it drain. I'm gonna come up and check our rigging. Oh man. I didn't have a dry suit, my legs are wet. All right, Ethan, see if you'll come back a little bit more. Just nice and easy. Okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, dig your bucket in. Sorry, right, car's not going anywhere. I want you to leave a little bit of slack in it. If it'll, if it'll give us slack, I want you to leave us a little slack. So I think the car will stay where it's at right now. 
All right, Ethan, come forward. Let's let some slack off, if it will. Take your bucket up, take some slack. We really need to get a lower pick on that thing if we can, but come forward. No, keep your bucket low, bucket low. There you go, there you go. Keep on coming. Yep, keep on coming. I got, I got the slack, keep on coming. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, other rope out, this yanking, yank them rope, and we'll do the same thing again and get it all the way up here on that mud and then figure out what to do from there. I'd like to be able to get up here enough to where we can get a V-bridle on it and get a low pull on it instead of pulling up high like that. I've got a V-bridle up here. I don't know, we may, we think that skid steer will walk it out of there. Cause I hate to pull it over this rip rack. No, I mean, I don't want to carry it across these rocks. We're gonna have to take it down that way some way. That's why I was saying, I wonder if we could walk the, like where we walked in earlier, if we could get the skid steer down there where we walked in and no, not yet. Let's get it up on the bank first. Uh. Talon. Now it's uh, somebody's there to work on the Warner trailer. Oh. The tires. I need a couple feet. Uh, well, if I can take it out of the winch, I will, but I may have to have it out of you, I don't know. <sighs> Nothing other than there was one. No, I heard it on uh, Seymour Alerts. All right, Ethan, I need another. I need more slack out of you if I can get it. All right, that's good. And then I can have Gavin take this uh, big Yankum rope out of the equation. All right, Gavin, grab this big one. Please, sir. All right, Ethan. Snug it up. Grab that big red one. Buck it up, buddy. Buck it up. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. No, you're good. You do what you can do unless I tell you to stop. Just slow and steady. Doing good, doing good. Yeah. Whew. 
problem is going to be getting it out of here. Out of the water is step one. Back up to where we can get it on the rollback is uh, another multiple steps. Yeah, it's going to have to cross the tracks and all kind of stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's only a 10,000 pound limit on that bridge. Ah, I don't know. That would be the easiest. Well, we're about to hit a huge chunk of mud down here. I'd like to be able to spin the front end around. We're out of the water. Now, hold on. I'm going to make sure there's not anything or anybody in here. I don't see anything. It's clear! Clear! I don't know about the trunk, but there's nothing in the inside of the car. All right, come on back a little. Come on back some, if you can. Whew. Man, I keep sliding. I don't know if those tracks are going to work or not down here. It's pretty, getting slimy. It's getting real slimy. You're completely out of the water. Well, I'll just keep going until I tell you otherwise. All right, st st stop. Stop and just hold there for a minute. Let's see if the see if the officers need to do anything. All right, so do we maneuver it around these and keep winching and move it over here up to the better incline angle or do we try to get the skid steer I don't want to get the skid steer down there in that slime because we'll never get it out yep get over here where it's less of an angle I let me go talk to the officer hold on I'd say the battery's dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see a uh, manual. Sometimes the manual lever, though, is on the inside of the back seat. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get to the manual release on the trunk. I tell you what, brother. Yes, sir. I say just drag it up, and we'll worry about the trunk at the top. Gotcha. Is that something we'll probably end up having it towed to our lot anyhow? Uh, I'll call my sergeant here in a minute once we get it actually up to the top and see where we want it at. Might as well let this drain out for a second though. That's something that's like if there's if there's a body in the trunk or something, it's like it doesn't matter if we open it here or somewhere else. So I don't I don't predict I don't predict that there is, but just in case it is. All right. Okay, Ethan. He's he's uh, decided we're going to go ahead and uh, open the trunk later. There's, it's too dangerous down here. It's still got a lot of water and uh, the uh, it's muddy and slip slippery. Uh, let's get everything redirected so that we're going that way. Gavin, you see what I'm talking about? We want to go that direction for now. Where do we want it? 
we need as many of those cables and stuff tied together as possible and redirected over this way uh, I'm so take it loose from the skid steer and get the skid steer I don't want the skid steer off down in here I want it to stay up top but I want that skid steer over closer to those trees and we'll use our rigging to redirect everybody understand yeah all right uh, you think it'd be safe to take the car across the bridge or do we get, need to get it across the tracks man I do not know good question eh it says 10,000 pounds on the bridge if, uh, I was thinking if we get a long enough rope or strap or something we can get, yeah, get on the other side and pull over it and kind of steer the car uh, so that way it's not putting too much of a load on it at one time man I don't think so okay I'm not I'm just worried about not, taking it yeah. over the tracks because we'll uh, rip the gas can yeah no yes. for sure that that's we don't want to damage the bridge, but yeah. then again, we don't want to rip the gas out or gas tank out. Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Can I get the rotator in and lift it over the tracks? Can I get close enough? If we can get it down close to the tracks, can we get the rotator and lift it over rather than risking puncturing the gas tank? Low lines. Yeah. Well, we may have to crib over them. Well, one step at a time. Let's get it up here on if level. The, if the fuel is the only thing you're worried about, can you drain the fuel? Can you raise it and drain the fuel yep. over here and yep. then just not have it a concern? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you can take that down and connect. There's a uh, decent spot right there. You'll need something in the interim, but not much. We need... We need a 20 foot 3 8 chain or something out of the rotator is what we need. Or out of the rollback. Uh oh. Is that going to be too much, Gavin? Do what? Hold on, Ethan. Hold on, Ethan. We may be better off to take. Here, hold on. Where's the other one, bud? Yeah. yeah. Here, Ethan, grab this and see if it will reach down there instead of that. If we can reach it with this cable, we won't worry about the rope. Go ahead. Are you, use the shackle off the end of that red, because uh, I can use the rope right here. I can come up a little bit with the skid steer. And when you use just that, cake, no, you're good, you're good, buddy. Thank you, though. Take the uh, 
take the red 20 footer out of the equation. Whoa, you all right? All right, Gavin, hold up, hold up. We're gonna need that, but keep it handy. But uh, yeah, take the 20 footer out or just leave it hanging on the car and take the rim sling through the wheel.
sideways. Alright. I got it. Tell me when to stop. I can't see what I'm doing. like for it to come oh shoot it's got to come over those rocks no matter what don't it yeah I need to come this way more huh okay all right 
we're just gonna have to I need to try to get right here if possible to stay away from those rocks and those rocks all right Gavin I need to be the line needs to pull right where you're standing Yep. Yep. What I'd like to do is get it up close enough to where I can take this uh, cable out of it and where I can get and I can see the car and the Yankum rope. You know what I mean? Another couple of pulls and we'll, we should be there.
this down and get a V-bridle on this bad boy. Woo! Well, it's just like a junk sling is what we're doing. Gotta work. All right. So what I need you guys to do is scout that out. What's happening? Bumper's already broke anyway. All right, can you guys, yeah, I know. Scout that out and make sure we're gonna be able to make that Broadway bridge. We get all of our rigging and everything, guys.
that surgery is cramping up on me. So that's the control stick. All right. 
loose. And I'll see what I can do on my own for now. We can try to hopefully uh, get there before that train so we don't hold them up. Just throw the, hey, Gavin, just throw the uh, rope, the wire rope, the cable back up into the bed. That way, if we need it again, it's right there accessible. Hands are off the controls. You're clear, Gavin.
right track. Well, it wasn't, it is now, but it wasn't wanting to roll. All right, watch out in case the thing breaks free.
be able to make the turn. Too. I like it when it's interesting. It's a challenge. Yeah. Well, a little bit worse for wear, but she's back on mostly dry ground. Back on pavement anyway. I'm gonna sign off for now. Again, we hope and pray that nobody was in it. Hopefully we'll find out more to the story before the video goes, if we're allowed to do the video. Otherwise, this is historic downtown Cape Girardeau and the river wall. This wall protects the entire downtown Cape area from floods. All right. We're going to load it up and get out of here. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.